Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Oracle Tech India and this is Anil K. Sharma. Today in this video lecture, I will tell you about the basic syntax of PLSQL programming language in Oracle database. So before I start this video lecture, please subscribe my channel. So let's start the topic and the name of the topic is PLSQL block structure or the basic syntax of a program in PLSQL language. So this PLSQL block structure is also called anonymous block structure and this anonymous block structure is also called unnamed PLSQL block structure. So you can call it PLSQL block structure or anonymous block structure or unnamed PLSQL block structure. So as I have already told you in the previous video lecture that a program in PLSQL consists of a block and a block contains three sections. So this is your PLSQL command prompt and a block in PLSQL language contains three section, declare section, begin section, exception section and end keyword is used to close the program, used to close the block. So this declare section is used to declare all the variables used throughout the program and this declare section is optional. So this declare section contains declaration of all variables, cursors, user defined exceptions that are referenced in the executable and exception sections. So this declare section is used to declare all the variables used throughout this program. Now the begin section, this section is mandatory section. So whatever you want to occur in the database, you have to write the code. You write the code here in begin section. So begin section contains SQL statement to retrieve data from the database. So if you want to retrieve data from the database, you have to write a code. So write a code here in begin section. Contains PLSQL statements to manipulate data in the block. So here you can write PLSQL statement along with the concept of programming language like declaring the variables using arrays using uh, using if else conditional statements using do loop for loop while loop etc you can you can use sql statements here you can use plsql statement here now the third section is exception and this is also an optional action to perform when error occurs and abnormal conditions arise in the executable section. So whenever an error occurs in declare section or begin section, your error is displayed here in exception section. So you can find out here where the error occurs above in the program. You can correct the errors and then execute the program smoothly. And this end keyword is used here to end this program followed by semicolon terminator and this is also mandatory. Now the next is basic block structure. So what should be the basic block structure of a program in PLSQL language so the basic block structure is you must specify the begin keyword for a program in PLSQL language and then end keyword. And in between begin and end keyword, you have to give a valid statement for the database or you have to write here a code for the database to occur. And this forward slash is used to execute this small program. So whenever you execute your program in PLSQL language, you have to 
uh, write this forward slash and then press enter your program will be executed so here the forward slash executes an anonymous plsql block you can say a program in plsql so the forward slash the forward slash executes an anonymous plsql block or a program in plsql the forward slash is used to execute a program in plsql language it does nothing other than run without an error so here i have written here a valid statement for the database null null is a valid statement it will do nothing but it will run this program without any error so go to the plsql command prompt and execute this program so this is your plsql command prompt here i will write a program so i write here begin and then i give here a a valid statement for the database to occur so null and any statement in plsql is ended by putting semicolon terminator sign so i have ended this statement by putting semicolon and then and semicolon and forward slash is used to execute this program so i have i have put here forward slash now i press enter this program will be executed so now the program is successfully completed so plsql procedure successfully completed clear this is screen clear scr now the next is a block without an execution statement raises an exception because plsql does not support an empty block for example this unnamed block fails so here i have specified begin keyboard and keyboard but in between them i have not mentioned any valid statement for the database i have not written any coding here in between these two keywords so that is why this program is an empty program or this is this is and this is a uh, this is an empty block so when i execute this program this will give an error so go to the plsql command prompt and execute this program also this program will give error so i write here begin i do not specify any coding here i just end the program by putting and keyword semicolon forward slash enter now this has given an error because this is an empty block this is an empty program i just clear this screen clear scr <coughs> so now the next <coughs> now the next is server output on <coughs> so this server output on variable actually it is an important variable so you have to keep this server output on whenever you execute any program in plsql unless or until you enable this server output on your your uh, your result will not be displayed to you so you must enable the sql stick plus server output environment variable to print content to the console so if you want to display any result to the console you have to enable this server output on the server output environment variable can take a physical size it can it can take a physical size you can allocate the size from uh, 2000 bytes to 10 lakh 
bytes or the unlimited keyword or you can also put unlimited keyword but it is recommended that you use the unlimited size keyword so it is recommended here that you put unlimited keyword unlimited keyword so go to the plsql command prompt set server output on and then give the size and you can specify the size from 2000 bytes to 10 lakh bytes or you can simply put here unlimited keyword so it is recommended that you put the unlimited keyword here and then you make any program and then execute your your result will be displayed to you unless or until unless or until you specify the server output on your result will not be displayed to you so begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line hello world and forward slash so here i have written a code for printing hello world message to the console so go back to the plsql command prompt and see the result so here let us have a look here uh, the dpms underscore output dot put underscore line function prints a line of output so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line function prints a line of output it actually prints the message all declarations statements and blocks are terminated by a semicolon so all the valid statements in plsql is ended by putting the semicolon a terminator sign so go back to the plsql command prompt and then do the demo so here <coughs> i write a program begin dbms underscore out put dot put put underscore line and then bracket single quotation hello world hello world terminator sign semicolon and forward slash enter now this program is successfully executed but the message hello world is not displayed to you because i have not enabled here server output on so for displaying the message you have to enable server output on so right here set server out put on and size unlimited keyword size unlimited keyword enter now now i have enabled the server output on now i write the same program and the hello world message will be displayed to you so begin dbms underscore out put dot put underscore line and bracket single quotation hello world semicolon and forward slash enter now your message hello world is displayed to you because i have enabled server output on you can also do like this set server output on enter 
set server output on this will automatically allocate the size from 2000 bytes to 10 lakh bytes or you can specify the size so this is the size of buffer cache this is the size of cache of database so set server out put on size and you can give here size 2000 bytes enter you can also give set server out put on size 4000 enter so this was all about how a program in PLSQL is executed so you always remember that for displaying the result to the console you must enable server output on keyword so I clear the screen so so thank you thank you for watching this video